Hello, everybody. Old Buck Dave back again with episode 197 of Two Old Bucks. Tell me who's here with me. Yeah, I'm here. Old Buck Dale. Old Buck Dale. Greetings. Yeah. Traveling with you. Traveling with me, huh? Traveling vicariously. <laughs> like I said, well, you, 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 you get to miss the jet lag and that sort of thing. But uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I say that. I, I don't know uh, if our listeners have, I mean, with this technology, they can do something like that with a sibling or, a, a, you know, a offspring or something like that to be able to be talking to the kids in Orlando while they're in, you know, Oregon or something. Mm -hmm. But, but because we are basically the same age and uh, I'm putzing around here and you're walking there and, you know, I'm thinking about this whole thing. I'm thinking, man, I, I only had to walk 300 yards to the, supermarket and back and i'm already over overheated <laughs> and you know you're you're walking around in a strange town so, so anyhow where are you and how you making out and what adventures have you been on well i'm i'm in dresden at the moment before we get into the gory details of that i want, want to mention we got several thumbs up is it thumb thumb up thumbs up or thumb ups for for last week's update on the ukrainian refugees in france and so thanks to Annie and uh, Yulia for uh, giving us their time and le letting us know what's going on over there. We, we've got an injured uh, vixen here. Do you want to mention that? Yeah, I want to send a uh, special greeting to uh, VV1, uh, Judith, who's uh, uh, often a contributor and certainly a good friend of us. Um, she's experienced some, some eye problems as uh, Detached retina, yeah. But she says all is good. All is good. She's recuperating. I wonder. I wonder how you do that. Is you think just like you have to have a fall or something? Uh, I, you know, I don't know. I, I've I know people oh. that, have, that have just happened to them. You know, they're walking down the street and all of a sudden, uh, like somebody pulls it pulls a shield well, down over their <laughs> over their eye. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, you know how I am about that. As uh, the eyes. Um, the eyes uh, have it. Huh? Yeah, we've talked about that in the past, and uh, and I think Judith has commented on that. So anytime anybody suffers from something to do with the eyes that impairs their vision, I'm really my heart really goes out to them. And so all the best to uh, to Judith that uh, she recovers from that, and um, and I assume her uh, her knee is probably working relatively coming well. Coming along, coming along. Yep, she said she's right <laughs> right on schedule, so that's good. <laughs> So the so the journey continues. Mm -hmm. So we uh, since we talked last, we jumped on a plane in Frankfurt and flew to Prague. Uh, we it's funny we got into Prague about uh, six p.m. ish something like that. Got to the hotel, nice hotel. It, it's it's kind of a it's kind of an old school hotel. It's you know marble floors in the rooms and that sort of thing. It was real real nice real nice. Uh, so I asked the hotel for a restaurant recommendation. <laughs> he said, check food. And I said, well, we're looking for something light. Is check food light? He says, oh, no. He says, it's very heavy. He says, this is probably the most unhealthy food in Europe. So, <laughs> so we huh. skipped the check food. We went to a, a, there was an Italian restaurant next door that did both northern and southern Italian and a bunch of things. It was really excellent. So that was, that was great. So that is uh, that's something you have to take in consideration, isn't it? You you weren't you weren't ready for anything heavy. I'm trying to imagine what that would be. It's probably some, you know. Like well, a, it's a it's a lot of dumplings and oh, sausages. Yeah, dishes. Uh, Czech yeah, food is a lot go. of a uh, lot of sausages, heavy heavy meats, heavy gravies, uh, Ooh. goulashes. Uh, it was it's it's pretty. It's serious. And, and stuff. You, you cannot afford to risk that while you're traveling, can you? <laughs> yeah, you can't. Uh, you can't subject yourself to something that uh, is going to cause you some indigestion or something out there. So yeah. anyhow, so you managed to, you're in, you're settled. Uh, you, you uh, find the place that you chose uh, to be adequate. And uh, then what you do, you get up in the morning and open the door and say, hello world. We, <laughs> you, you've heard the word over tourism used. Yes. I, I, well, we, we, we experienced it in Prague. In fact, we, we obviously we contributed to it. Uh, Prague was absolutely jammed with people. It was just, I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. 
There were just people swarming everywhere on the main streets, the main uh, streets in the old city, the old town. Just looking around, just, 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 just looking around, going on tours, going in the shops. Uh, so we did this, uh, I don't know, this, this hop on, hop off bus deal. A lot of cities have it. So we, we got a two day pass for that. So we could jump off and on the bus mm -hmm. and they've got, you know, several routes that, uh, so you can, you could see a lot of things. So it's very convenient. Plus we got a, river tour a one hour river tour which was nice and uh, so it was very re relaxing the tour was the river cruise was great l relaxing lots of good information we went up to uh, Prague castle which is the largest castle in the world as it turns out and it, it was just inundated with tourists and we were in the big courtyard and it was just loaded and there was a line of people. It must have been a couple blocks long to get into inside the bill inside the castle. Oh, we said, nah, I don't think so. So, but right next to the castle, outside the castle, they have these huge gardens. I think they're called the King's Garden or the Queen's Garden, something like that. So we had a nice relaxing walk in the shade. On the, on the hottest day ever, as it turned out, <laughs> I think the record was broken the next day, but uh, it was fun looking at the different tree species and staying in the shade. And uh, it was nice. Uh, another tour we did was the, uh, it's called the underground tour, uh, where you go visit some basements, believe it or not. Of course, these basements have big stone support pillars. Uh, it turns out that the basement that we were in used to be ground level well, because of the, uh, the river was uh, subject to flooding an awful lot. So they built another level up on top of the existing level and called that the ground floor. And then the old ground floor now became the basement and over a hundred years or so they, they backfilled it, everything in the whole city, you know, they lifted the whole city up like, 15 feet, something like that. That was back from uh, the 12th century is when that happened. Yeah. So that was pretty interesting. So we saw from, a, from an engineering standpoint, it's, it's yeah, fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. Even up until, you know, just a few years ago, their flood control systems were still not doing the job, but apparently they are now. I think that 2002 was the big, big flood in, in uh, Europe. And they showed the water level there and the different buildings. Uh, but they said it's all, it's, uh, it's theoretically all fixed now until, until the next hundred year flat, I guess. Well, or unless the uh, uh, sea, the Prague is on the sea, isn't it on the Mediterranean? Prague, it's on water. No, 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 no. Volta, something like that. Oh, this. it's on a river. Okay. So, but I knew yeah. there's some water around there somewhere. Okay. Yeah. So you saw a castle and, you know, you've seen one castle, you've seen them all. <laughs> well, we, we actually and, saw and, a lot and of like the, the biggest castle in the world. That's interesting that they preserved that. Apparently it wasn't destroyed during the war. No, much of, much of Prague was unscathed. Yeah. Yeah. There's, well, you know, a lot of the old, uh, the old cathedrals and things were, uh, were, were spared as compared to Dresden where everything was everything was rubble and we'll get into that a little bit later yeah but uh, uh, well i uh, I'm, i uh that some of that stuff is uh i mean it, i've seen a few old things like that uh, not not i've never been there but uh, i'm always fascinated with the technology that they had that they was able to do that i mean the the labor intensive uh, work that goes into building a city like that. And and I imagine maintaining it, it's got to be a bear too with all the. Oh spiral. my, yeah. Just think all these, all these little cobblestone streets weaving in and out everywhere and they're full of shops, restaurants and everything that's got to get serviced every, every day. So it's, <laughs> it's really. Let, it, let me ask you a question, Dave. Um, I'm, I'm sure some of our old buck listeners will um, relate to this. You know, when I, when I go to a place that has lots and lots of uh, people traffic, mm -hmm. and I'll, I'll give you a good example. Um, let's say uh, Bush Gardens. You mm -hmm. know, you've heard of that. You know what that is. I think most people in yeah. America will probably know who that is. Anyhow, it's a theme park. But there is, they have some uh, statues, some bronze statues. And anything that's in a pathway 
inevitably gets rubbed. You know what I mean? That someone always touches it in the, the, the head of the statue or the nose of the deer. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. and while you were over there with that many people around, like, did you notice, like, on the corners of the buildings or the steps or, you know, everything's, everything's real shiny where people are constantly using the same, you know, same way. Did you see that? Does it uh, look like the city's being worn down slowly? <laughs> molecule by molecule? I, molecule by molecule, yeah. <laughs> I mean, certainly the, the the cobblestones are really polished and uh, from all the walking on them. Okay. Uh, once, once. I, I don't think yeah. anybody was taking any chances touching any monuments. Uh, they're all kind oh, of protected, okay. and uh, and they're and they're up on big pedestals also, so you can't really. Can't and you really... were you weren't inclined to take your pen knife out and screw 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 <laughs> something on the wall. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> no, okay. Anyway, I'll tell you, the, not, the, 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 the sad thing though is uh, graffiti, graffiti everywhere. Oh. Same thing here in uh, Dresden. It's really it's really a shame. I talked to a, a local guy about it, and he says, "Yeah, that's that's it's everywhere. It's terrible." You mean paint? Really? Paint? Yeah, graffiti. graffiti. Yeah, paint. You know. Yeah. Oh. He says it's not too bad getting it off of the the sidewalks, but the uh, a lot of the buildings are uh, sandstone. Yeah, really, and really grainy. Really hard to get that stuff off of there without destroying. So, so I want to know how you got from Prague to to Dresden. <laughs> okay, uh, so our hotel in Prague was only about a twenty twenty five minute walk to the train station. So it was it was nice. We were in the old town. So we we checked out, and I thought, well, okay, you know, we've got a lot of cobblestones to uh, carry our roller bags over. I thought, let's just splurge on a cab. Uh, so it, you know, it's not. It was only a couple bucks. It was it was it was ten euros. Uh, so like, okay, and so we get in the cab, and I, I have Google Maps on on my phone to see where we're going. And this driver is zigzagging all over the city, trying to avoid backups. <laughs> construction you know the delivery guys will, will stop his delivery <laughs> yeah. van and you don't go anywhere till he's done unloading the van yeah right. it's just just too many people and too many cars on these narrow streets so and i'm watching this and he's just trying everything and no matter where we go it's a problem after 20 minutes we passed the town square that was a block from our hotel <laughs> so by this time we could have we could have walked to the train station we were back at the starting point basically and you nudged your wife and said you recognize that <laughs> yeah i did and she said oh no <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so so he plodded on and now now we're 40 minutes into it okay and, and i can see the station over 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 the way there and i said you know what just pull over here let us out. We'll walk the rest of the way. I said, you're, you know, it'll take you another half hour to get that last, you know, that last distance. He says, yes, thank you. Thank you. And a, a number of people were doing that. As it turns out, a lot of cabs were pulling over because it would, because of the construction and everything, you just couldn't get there. So that was, that was an interesting journey. That uh, <laughs> did, did you have to reserve a place on the train? We did. We did. Yeah, there was there's a story there too. Oh, there's a story there yeah. too. Okay. But, but but before we got on the train, oh, it was I had I had some check money left. The guy had given me the, the driver gave me some change. So he said, "Well, let's buy some water and some snacks at the station here." So I had this 100 karuna note, which is like, uh, you know, 5 bucks. And they refused it. And I said, "What do you mean?" And, and uh, she kept shaking her head no. Then she pulls out a little a little pad where, where it's written in English. Basically, said it was counterfeit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she showed me where the you know there's supposed to be this little solid metallic line, and it wasn't it wasn't right. And it's like, okay. <laughs> well, so, who, who who better to give it give that to but a tourist? Somebody who's not going to doesn't yeah. isn't going to have to use it. Yeah. Yeah, so that was the hoot. Oh, but we got on the I'll train. Make a note of that. <laughs> it took us a while to figure out which which train car we were in. It was everything was you know kind of it was a long string of 
words and letters and numbers and it's like okay we're in uh, car 256 all right we found the car and we get in okay so where do we sit we sat someplace and somebody else gets you know, gets in that little cabin and says nope sorry this is mine so we and then I, I saw the number 21 so okay okay we must be seat maybe 21 and 22 so we go down to there that's uh, six seats and and a family of five comes in and the guy says well you know we're i'm a family of five these are my seats and then i'm looking and looking and there's another number it's like 110 so we're on the same car but we're on different compartments so that's so my wife ended up with this uh, uh family of five of uh, belgian i believe and uh, i ended up in a different cabin with uh, four young girls who were going somewhere <laughs> <laughs> glued to their noses in their phones the whole time anyway but it was a pretty trip pretty dry uh, a pretty train ride so how many hours uh it was uh it was two hours plus there was a delay for construction so it was about two and a half hours so it was it was a nice ride it was a nice ride when, and you obviously had a view. You were able to watch the scenery yeah, go by. Yeah, yeah. I took a couple pictures out the window, saw some castles. Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty. And then we got to Dresden. Uh, Dresden again was an easy walk to the hotel. We have our, our hotel is in the old city, the old town, which is really not that old. It's the, probably the world's newest old town, and that's because you know what happened in World War II. I, I'm totally aware. Of the bombing of Dresden and about 300,000 or excuse me, 30,000 people killed. Yeah. You know? So much, uh, much of it was leveled. So everything here is rebuilt. Uh, very few original structures, uh, but of course everything is rebuilt in, in the, in the original form. So it's pretty interesting, but so the, the, uh, the, it's dazzling. It's really a dazzling city. The old town here, it's beautiful. Uh, I climbed to the top of the dome on this uh, big church called the uh, the Freienkirche. It's about I don't know 210 feet high. Uh, lots of steps and ramps and uh, like almost ladders and you know tiny spirals to get up to the top. But it was uh, my legs are hurting already. Oh man, it was a beautiful view of the city. <laughs> you could see the castles down down the river, miles down the river. Oh, it was nice. It was very nice. Huh. Lots of castles. Lots of castles. <laughs> yeah. And now we had a. I'm uh, we surprised did a, they re rebuilt them that way. They they must have wanted to preserve the original. They preserved the original. Look at the place. Yeah. 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 It's 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 really dazzling. Uh, and it, what did not have the crowds like Prague? I mean, of course, it has tourists, but it's it's. It's a world of difference. It's really, this is, if you want to get away, go somewhere, I'd say go to Dresden. I, I, I'd i stay out, I'd stay away from Prague until September. Uh, but we had a, uh, we did a walking tour yesterday and we had a bit of an incident on the tour. It was kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the tour guide, she got a bit testy over some of the questions that were asked. And we stopped at a big mural from the communist era. Of course, this was, uh, east, you know, this was East Germany. It was East Germany. This, this was part of East Germany. So there was a big mural on the side of a wall, uh, kind of depicting some, you know, communist history with Marx mm -hmm. and Engels mm -hmm. and Lenin and uh, Stalin down in the corner. Uh, and uh, the kind of the woman kind of stressed that, there, there was a big woman, fe uh, a woman featured in the mural, and he, she said, "Well, the one, one of the good things of communism was they really gave equality a woman to women long before any of the other societies did in you know in that period of time." And somebody asked her, "Well, like, what about Stalin?" You know, she says, "Oh yeah, Stalin was a bad guy, but." They, uh, you know, once he, once he died, they kind of erased him from the record books and put him in the corner and that sort of thing. 
And she said, you know, maybe, you know, maybe communism will come back and be done the right way, that sort of thing. And this got a, this was the English speaking tour. So it's got a couple, a couple of people cranked up a little bit. <laughs> I was say a couple of hecklers, hecklers, a couple hecklers. <laughs> uh, and uh, she started going back and forth with this father and son. And it, it really got, it really got a little bit ugly. I, I'm not going to beep this out, but I'll tell you what she said. And then when the man said, well, in my country, the United States, and she said, you live in a shit country. I'm like, oh, oh thank you. Oh, boy. Oh, thank so you. The, the ugly American is starting to uh, to creep in, huh? Well, I don't know who was ugly or her, whether it was the, 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 this father and son or her, but they were just... No, but uh, when, when I was overseas, uh, the thing is, when you're not in your home territory, it's a different story. When you're in a place where you become the minority, it's a different story. And you you were just picking up a perspective of mm -hmm. somebody else. Yeah. Now, you know, and, and I've run into that myself. In fact, one of my answers one time was, well, I'm not sure what happened there because I was here with you. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. my, yeah. It's my defense. Yeah. But uh, I think yeah. that I think that can happen anytime to any. But we, uh, yeah. 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 But I, I, we, we chose to just walk away from the tour at that point. You know, it was, it was getting to be a bit of a, a shouting match and we didn't come here for that. So anyway, yeah, yeah, nobody, nobody thinks where he lives is not nice. I mean, let's, let's put it that way, but you know, um, uh, like I said, if you're, when you're in somebody else's domain uh, and that's their opinion, they express, you have to be prepared for it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So you you made a wise move there. That was an interesting. Uh, little, yeah, that uh, was the that was the only little really little negative we had on the whole time. It's you know the food's been great. Uh, so the people are people are very nice. Sausage. We had some. some we did have some sauerkraut <laughs> and a little bit of sausage. Yeah. Uh, also had some quinoa and some healthier things. So it's been it's been good. I did a bike tour today. I was it with a, no a group of eight of us. Uh, I was on the English speaking tour. I was the only native English speaker on the tour. There were uh, seven other people and they were two Dutch families. Uh, so we had a good time. How, Our, how do you organize that, Dave? I mean, do you, you, you I didn't you... organize it. No, it's, you, you just find it, find it. You know, it's all, it's all on the internet, man. <laughs> it's all there. So in other words, you say, I feel like riding a bike and then they provide you with the equipment and a bike and so on and so forth. And a guide. And, and a guide. And a guide. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We had a guide. It was see, a guide I, sure. I think that's the neatest way, the absolutely neatest way for someone physically able to see things or do something. To me, every time you do that, I think, man, that is the best way to see the nooks and it, crannies of it the is city. Exactly. It is. You cover so much more territory and you oh, get into yeah. these back streets, you get into the nooks and crannies and the, the interesting, really funky things. Uh, and, uh, and, and that's what happened today. It was really, really nice. It was really a lot of fun. It did, uh, it started sprinkling. So we got a little bit wet, but, uh, you know, I wouldn't, well, I wouldn't really call it. We didn't get soaked or anything. It just was a, just a little drizzle, but, uh, yeah. So that was the, uh, that was the bike tour today. Now, as we, as we record this, not when we broadcast it, but basically when we record this because we're separated by a, you know, in two different continents, mm -hmm. you are in the late afternoon. So you're kind of winding your day down now. You've already, uh, you'd be thinking more about late supper or something. At yeah. Time, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's Is there right. any nightlife over there? Is there a nightlife that you can Oh, there's definitely not, not. There's definitely nightlife. I, I'm just I mean, not partaking of it. <laughs> I'm not okay. participating. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's that's right, because you can't take those big steins of beer anymore. I, mean, oh, I can't no, eat those. I have to no. pass on all that stuff, huh? Yeah. And as I was coming back from the the uh, bike tour today, past this uh, beer garden down by the river, oh, yeah. and they're all singing, and it was great. It was fun. They are singing. It looked like a couple of people were dancing. But Well, that's uh, – I would, I would think that would be something uh, that's tradition – you know, oh yeah, I guess oh, after yeah. five o'clock or something. I mean, yeah. when when we grew up, I never quite understood what a beer garden was. 
you know, I'm going down to the beer garden. Mm -hmm. I thought that was just the name of any uh, place that served alcohol, but it, it turned out it was more, uh, I would say more cultural that I learned over time. So, yeah. well, you got yeah. to see that you got, and got no, to see you that. stay there for a couple more days. Well, we're, you're... we're done here. We're heading for Berlin tomorrow. We catch the, the morning train to Berlin. So that should be another wow. interesting. Uh, so we're going to be four days in Berlin. Get to see a little bit of the uh, Cold War mysteries and intrigues, I think. So it'll be it'll be fun. So all our listeners, just to, <laughs> just to, just to pick it as tomorrow, whatever your tomorrow is, the old Buck Dave is taking <laughs> the train to Berlin. And old Buck Dell is taking the laundry to the laundry room. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm doing the laundry in the hotel you. sink. So yeah, you're doing it in the sink. Well, yeah. anyhow, I, I love I. You've done some trips over the years, and and I've always enjoyed them because you send me a picture every now and then, like that picture of uh, the one of of, of a boat uh, that I mm -hmm. still have. Uh, I use it on my phone as a background picture, and you, but. Uh, we laugh about these things, uh, and uh, I uh, I know my legs probably won't be able to, wouldn't be able to cope with it. But I'm I admire you for your stamina. Carry we on we we're putting some miles on, that's for sure. <laughs> we we really are. <laughs> so, other than that, I'll give you a brief update on my side. Yeah, talk to me, man. My 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 quiet little uh, life here, uh, just fortunately no no doctor's appointments. That's all good, right? That's um, a good thing. I'll, yeah. I'll set some of that stuff up next month. I just took a break from the doctor's appointments and other you know, follow-up stuff. Uh, and I was uh, doing a little, I was putting in some lighting. I was helping in my community to put some landscape lighting in outside. And I am telling you what, the 90, 93, 97 degree temperatures. Oh, just no, this old the old buck just cannot cope too much Ooh, we, outside of that. Yeah, uh, lose too much water. My paper. Yeah. So I call it quits at about uh, eleven o'clock in the morning. Uh, rest up for a while and uh, wait for the wife to give me instructions on what to start preparing <laughs> for supper. <laughs> there you go. You got it. You've got a plan. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. There you yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey, well, listen. Uh, Nothing yeah, live here. Nothing live. Okay. Mm. Well, having said that, I think it's time for us to um, bid each other for farewell for another few days till we okay. talk we'll again from Berlin. And hopefully right. we'll have some, some more interesting things talking about there. Um, bear with us. Uh, uh, well, enjoy the enjoy the trip with us, uh, all our listeners out there, our regular listeners. We want to thank everybody that uh, catches us either by chance or intention. Uh, it's uh, fun to know that uh, we can entertain a few people while they're uh, working on the treadmill or something. So you folks stay well and you be careful of the heat on my side. And if you're traveling, be safe out there. And this is Old Buck Dale saying, it's been a pleasure. Talk to you next time. And this is Old Buck Dave coming right after him saying it's been a, a fun half hour with you. And we look forward to uh, doing more next week. Send us your cards and letters. We're always looking for feedback. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.